Here's Mitch Ballack. Uh, let's let's start at the end. The dunk. Yeah. You, did you hear what Denzel said? Denzel no, just called it cute. He called it cute. <laughs> I mean, when you have a seven foot wingspan, you can do a little bit better than what I got with my six six wingspan. But uh, we were actually in pregame, and I was I had a little legs today, so I was I was dunking a little bit just to, before we went back to the hotel. So then when I got open, CB threw a dime as an outlet, and I just put it down. Why not? Hit that big three at the end. I mean, hey, let's look. It's one of those games, and we've had them before on and off, especially on the road where we, those threes aren't falling. And uh, how much confidence confidence did you have stepping into that one? Uh, it's just. I mean, you just got to stick to your craft. Um, obviously, like like you said, games like that, it's it's tough to see the ball go in. But those are the games you like to win because then when you put put it together on the defensive end and the start, the shots start falling, then I mean we're a pretty e efficient and effective team, and we're tough to beat. But when you have when you have guys like Tyshawn and Marcus that can get downhill and attract so much attention, then it leaves me open on the on the perimeter a couple of times. So when you just take advantage of it and knock it down, then it's tough to guard us. Speaking of Tyshawn and and, and uh, Marcus, how, talk about the job they did on Remy Martin tonight. Unbelievable. Uh, obviously, we've been watching him. Uh, we've been watching a lot of his film. Uh, he was at the top of the scouting report, leading the team in scoring. And obviously, coming off the game against St. Mary's, uh, we knew he was going to come out hungry and hunting shots and just trying to get his. And they did an unbelievable job, just kind of weathering the storm and figuring it out. I mean, obviously, he's going to get his points just because he's he's a gifted scorer offensively and he's just a great player. So you just have to limit him, and they did a great job limiting him. And then we took away what we needed to take away to get the win. So it was huge for us. I think if you look in the dictionary and see the word hard-fought victory, this would be it. How big was it for the team to have to go on the road down at halftime? Right. Things yeah. not going your way, and you know the games happened before where we haven't been able to turn it around to be able to turn it around in the second half and then close out the game. Yeah, it's huge for our team. Uh, last year we probably wouldn't have dug this game out. Uh, we lost we lost a few games like that down the stretch where we we had it and then we just let it slip away. So I think. When we, when we learn from those games uh, from last year and we just, we just our core group just realizes what it's like being in that situation and just taking advantage of, of those situations. And like we talked about at halftime, uh, we've been through a lot of adversity this year with injuries and we obviously just got Denzel back for the last game and yeah. we're trying to incorporate him into the flow of our offense and, and that'll come. Uh, we have 10 days before Big East play and then we'll figure that out and once we get the, the gel moving and our team is back to a unit at, with when we're at full strength, and I hate to think of the things that we can accomplish yeah. as a team. Speaking of injuries, so, I mean, one of the I think one of the guys that was unsung tonight was Kelvin Jones. Talk about his his performance tonight. I feel like he gave the team a real boost. Yeah, Kelvin always gives us a boost. Uh, a boost um, when he obviously his ankle it's been bothering him, and he's been been a little sluggish in practice. But I mean, he's just his head's in the right place. He's always working hard, always doing what he needs to do, and when he gives you that lift on the defensive end. And just putting pressure on the rim and, and boxing out and getting rebounds, I mean, that's huge for us. And then when you throw it to him, he's good enough to ISO and he's, he, he can play with it. He, he's crafty and he, I mean, he's, tough, he's a tough guard. So when he comes in and gives you that inside presence, now we can play inside out and then the, everything's working on offense. So it, it looks good. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mitch.